This case considered the issue of assignment of equitable interests and whether or not a testator could place restrictions on a beneficiary's share of his estate so that it would be unable to be assigned. In this case, a man made a will and left an annuity to a beneficiary who was his son, but in the wording of the will it stated that the amounts payable to the beneficiaries could not be grantable, transferable or otherwise assignable. In other words, the provisions of the man's will disabled the beneficiary to transfer their equitable interests in the estate to a third party. One of the beneficiaries later became a bankrupt, and one of the beneficiary's creditors sought access to the beneficiary's share of the deceased estate for which he was entitled. They argued that since the beneficiary was a bankrupt, and this share of the estate was his property, then it should be available to the man's creditors. The central issue for the court, therefore, was whether or not the testator could place restrictions on the beneficiary's share of the estate so that it was not available to the beneficiary's creditor. The court ultimately held